Hi everyone, welcome to the video. I'm just going to have a little play on the hot plate with some black card, silver and white wax to start with. Um, it'll seem a bit weird because you can see my reflection. Um, but uh, the reason being, I work on a piece of metal on the hot plate so you can see it on camera. Because if I didn't, you wouldn't see uh, what we're going off because it's too dark. Um, so I'm going to do that technique we've done on a couple of other videos where we put a lot of wax down so I'm going to put some white down first so you can see it like so I'm going to work into A4 size painting card That's A4 for those of you who are not sure of your A sizes, that's the same size as printer paper. And I've got black shiny card today. You'll find this on the website uh, most of the time. Um, some of the colours will be disappearing from the website, sadly. Um, encaustic the original people are doing away with some of the colours we're just unable to get them so I'm just floating this in that wax and then pulling it see what we get so we've got a mixture of white and the silver on there and then I'm going to do this other side here and then I'm going to do something with it oh, no slide off and you will have all noticed straight away it bent the card that's quite normal a bit more silver this time some white oh my mouse things sliding as well Oh, that's not too bad. Let's get us quite a nice background, guys. Just lay that on, like you see. Okay. Now you're all thinking, oh, he's going to make a landscape or something. Not today. Not today. I've just watched something on YouTube that wasn't even encaustic, but it just inspired me. And I was like, ah, I'm going to try that. So... I've got this roller, um, it's just a standard gloss roller, spongy bit, with the, oh hang on, do this so you can see, with the thing for the roller, but I don't need the roller bit, I'm just going to use this excess of silver wax that's down, silver and white wax that's down here, and I'm not worried if they go a little bit blue, so there's a bit of blue on here, and we're going to and as you know, these are all sort of just on the fly. These are not, not really. It's not really planned out. This it's just, it's just gonna get done. So it might not work. So look a bit like moons, and you've seen me do moons in this way before. You've probably seen me do suns and all sorts. Right guys, I've in, I'm going to try and introduce some orange, which will be number three. Uh, number five and number four, uh, the yellow and the uh, yellowy orangey colour. Um, around these, and I'm going to try and make them look like flowers. I'm going to actually start off, um, just going to use this this brush just to hold this down a bit I'm not going to worry I'm just going to pick somewhere and press um, use some white first and just come round the circle a bit doing so 
some squiggly lines. Yeah, something like that. And let's just see. Hopefully this will work. To remember in encaustic things are a bit different because everything's melting whereas in other medium things are not melting they might be wet but they're sort of not melting together for want of better words yeah that's working then we've got the orange Is just trying to go into other colours. Mm. It's kind of working. If it don't look like this, what I will do is I'll just do one like this and then I'll put this to one side to dry and then I'll come back with a stylus on another occasion and I'll finish them with a stylus when the, when the background is dry so that'll stop them mixing up so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to leave that at that right but you can see that's like the starting of a flower, yeah? And then we'll bring, I'll just do it actually, I'll just bring them in already. Um, just get some green wax. Just bring down. Come down here. Right, and then I'm going to just leave them, right, that one, I'm just going to go back over again with this roller end, just to crisp up that middle. That's better. Just crisping up that middle has just made a big difference to that. Um, but like I said, I'm going to leave that one as it is, I'm going to let this all, I'm going to take it off the heat, let it dry, and then I'll do these other two with a stylus on another video. Okay? Thank you very so much for watching that one. And uh, I'll do some more hot plate work on some other videos.